what's happening crypto fam happy happy tuesday good morning and welcome back to love for crypto i'm scott it's a pleasure to have you here i appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content so thank you um paypal baby opening the doors to uk customers to purchase purchase some cryptos i don't think they're allowed to actually make payments through paypal with crypto yet they're just allowed to purchase and store crypto on the paypal account but i'm not too sure so we'll have a little read of the article will mention cardano and ada absolutely smashing it we mentioned in the video yesterday that some people can see it going to 360 um it's not broke the three dollar yet um if it doesn't break it soon you're gonna see a correction and even if it does break it soon you will still see a correction people are talking about up to a 40 percent correction so if you if you look at buying in at the moment and before or after the 12th of september i advise you to do your due diligence, look at it, do your calculations, dollar cost averaging, and protect yourself so you don't get burnt. Yeah? <clears throat> PayPal launches its cryptocurrency service in the UK. PayPal will let British customers buy, hold, and sell digital currencies starting this week. It marks the first international expansion of PayPal's crypto products since it launched in the US last year. PayPal is one of many firms taking a limp into the most like, unregulated world of cryptocurrencies. PayPal is launching its cryptocurrency service in the UK. The US online payments giant said Monday would let British customers buy, hold and sell digital currencies starting this week. It marks the first international expansion of PayPal's crypto product, product which was first launched in the US in October last year. Less than 12 months later, it's been expanded to the UK, and then God knows where after that, it will be global soon, no doubts. It's been doing really well in the US. Jose Fernandez de Ponte, PayPal's general manager for blockchain, crypto, and digital currencies, told CNBC, we expect it's going to do well in the UK. PayPal's crypto feature lets customers buy or sell Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum or Litecoin with as little as one pound. Users can also track crypto prices in real time and find educational content on the market. Boom! Kids are in. The kids are in, mate. The kids are fucking in. Hoorah! <laughs> what I mean by that is... It's hard for your kid to get a bank account. It's hard for your kid to get an adult ID. Most of your Binance, your Uphold, your Wirex, your, 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 your platforms like that require them to be over 18. But having a PayPal, if they've got a PayPal, and you can send them a quid on the PayPal, and they can buy a crypto. Into, now, right, hands up, and you might have already been able to tell by what I've just said. I don't use PayPal. I don't use it. So what I might have said might, what I've just said might be a load of fucking shit. And you actually need ID on PayPal to prove you're over 18. And this might well be for people just over 18. That's fucking irrelevant, mate. Because at the end of the day, if you give your kid five pound spends and he turns around to you and go, I want you to put that five pound onto PayPal for me in crypto, you're a knobhead and a shit parent if you don't do it. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. So I don't actually care if there's ID or anything on the things. The kids are in. The kids get pounds in pocket money. You can go as low as a pound on PayPal. Uphold, Wirex, everything else. You've got to put a tenner on. So if they get fiver in pocket money... They have to wait two weeks to get another five or twelve or ten or to give it you're about to get some crypto. Teach your kids about investments. Teach them. Tell them there's something on PayPal that you can put three pounds in it. And if you wait long enough, that three pound will be six pounds. Yeah. Teach them about the marshmallow test before you do the marshmallow test. It might actually make your kid more intelligent. <laughs> so like the US version of the product, PayPal is relying on packed off. A New York regulated digital currency company to enable crypto buying and selling in the UK. PayPal said it has engaged with relevant UK regulators to launch the service. So, what kind of license and regulation do PayPal have that the likes of Binance haven't got? Or was the 
unregulated activity Binance was doing literally just the derivatives, futures and CFDs and whatnot. And the actual selling of crypto is okay. It's all up in the fucking air. But literally at the beginning of this article, they said the unregulated space. And yet now, PayPal said it's engaged with relevant UK regulators to launch the service. So a spokesman for the Financial Conduct Authority, the FCA, Britain's Financial Services Watchdog, was not immediately available for comment on the announcement. Interesting. PayPal's crypto service is similar to the one from the UK fintech firm Revolut. As is the case with Revolut, PayPal users can't move their crypto holdings outside the app. Not your crypto, uh, not your keys. Some people actually don't care. Although Revolut recently started testing a feature that lets users withdraw Bitcoin to their own personal wallets. That's interesting. Seems like Revolut might be opening the doors. PayPal's going to have to open the doors in the end. Everyone's going to have to open the doors to interoperability in the end. Never mind just sending Bitcoin to a Bitcoin wallet. You know what I mean? We need interoperability of multiple wallets and platforms. PayPal says its four aims to crypto is about making it easier for people to participate in the market. The tokens, the coins have been around for a while, but you have to be relatively sophisticated user to be able to assess that. Having that on a platform like ours really makes a good entry point. They're not wrong. A lot of people asking me how do I buy Ada? How do we get how do we get in? And I'm like, you've got to find an on ramp, just find an on ramp. Uphold, Wirex, Bitrex, just find an on ramp, use one, do it. Buy XRP or Ada. If you can buy Ada straight away and send it to the Daedalus wallet, you're done. If you can't, buy some XRP or pull, send it to Binance, buy some Ada. Send the Ada to Daedalus Wallet. Stake it. Done. It is the on and off ramps that most people have. Because I go, well, go, well, 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 fancy some of this crypto. But how, how the fucking hell do I buy it, mate? How do I buy it, mate? The payments processor is one of many large companies taking a leap into the mostly unregulated world of crypto. We're back to unregulated now. They're all close with regulators. But now we've we got to wind back a little bit. To unregulated, the payments processor for one of many large companies taking the lead in mostly unregulated world of cryptocurrencies, despite ongoing concerns about price volatility, customer protection, and potential money laundering in the industry, major firms including Mastercard, Tesla, and Facebook have been warming to crypto lately. Bitcoin, the world's biggest digital currency, hit a record high of nearly sixty-five thousand dollars in April before tumbling below $30,000 in July as Chinese regulated ex regulators extended a crackdown on the market. <laughs> every every May, or every, like January to May, every fucking year, China ban Bitcoin. <laughs> it's a fucking joke. <laughs> So it's since recovered to a price of over 50 grand. So it's probably going to wait 110 grand by January, February, March, April. China will ban it again. It'll come back down at 70 odd and we'll all go again next summer. See you there. <laughs> Shit, they're bad, mate. While PayPal started with crypto trading, the company is betting digital currencies will take a greater role in e-commerce in the long run. Earlier this year, PayPal started letting US customers use crypto to pay at millions of its online merchants globally. The firm also expanded crypto buying and selling to Venmo, its popular mobile wallet. Another thing that kids use for money. The kids are coming in, baby. It's interesting, isn't it? Oh, these are doing it. This is what I mean. These are, the, the kids use these more than the bank. So the kids use Venmo, PayPal, all that shit more than they actually use a bank account. And it's interesting that all these platforms that the, the future, what's the future? 
the fucking kids. So the future is using these platforms and these platforms are getting the future payment technology before the platforms that the grey haired motherfuckers are what <laughs> And I'm getting me whites, no discrimination here. I'm getting me white hairs. And my, my body's like fuck grey. We're going straight to white. So yeah, silver fox motherfucker. Accept it, embrace it. Wear it like a bad job. <laughs> we definitely have ambitions to continue to expand the product range in the US, and the UK, and other markets, said DuPonte. We are very deliberate about starting with initial functionality. And then we'll see where the market is going to take us. Different markets have different appetite for products. Bitcoin. The launch of PayPal's crypto service in the UK also comes as regulators become increasingly wary about the rise of digital currencies in June. The FCA banned the British subsidiary of Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange, citing a failure to meet money laundering requirements. Interesting. Failure to meet money laundering. Well, how, how, do, how does the Bank of England meet money laundering requirements, yet still manage to let a shitload of money get laundered through their system. How's, how, how do they get around it, mate? Just wondering. Asking for the mate. Oh, that shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, central banks are exploring the potential issuance of their own digital currencies. As cash, <laughs> as cash use in a number of developed companies dwindles rapidly, in April the UK Treasury and Bank of England said they would evaluate the potential launch of a digital version of the British pound dubbed Bitcoin by the UK press. It's worth noting now, right, guys, we, we talk about CBDCs all the fucking time. We talk about issued government coins, issued central bank currencies. They are not going to be decentralised systems. They are not going to be decentralized assets and they are not going to be decentralized currency. They are going to be centralized, controlled by their creator. Why are they calling it digital? Yeah. They don't not call it don't call it crypto. The 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 central bank digital currency it, it is it is hella worth noting that that terminology pretty broad umbrella yeah pretty broad umbrella and then when it comes to the breakdown you'll have your bitcoin your gbp which people earn and spend and all that shit and your benefits coins will become issued tokens Peg two said, whatever. So, 200 food tokens a month. The equivalent of 200 pounds. But you can't spend food tokens on fucking weed or cocaine or alcohol. Yeah. And then are people going to be trying to swap food tokens for drugs? Like, it's going to be fucking weird. Anyway. DuPont is said, central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs, were a fantastic prospect. But it would take policymakers some time to iron out the key issues involved. You know, the, the, the key issues involved is also the young people want decentralised systems, platforms, programmes, dApps, apps, and currencies, and assets. And... The main people in charge still want them all to remain centralised. Well, we've got one reaction for them people. Stop. Fuck you. Fuck you. The people in the know want a fair system. I don't give a shit what really happens long term. As long as when I look at it, I'm like, well, that's fair. <laughs> I think, what, 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 what other way would we want it? 
I don't want to look at a similar and be like, yeah, well, that's just fucking killed someone, tore their house down, destroyed their life, but at least I've got another zero on my bank balance. That's not the way the work should fucking work. Should be fair. Fair. It's happening. Big things are happening. Oh, and on another note, a little bit of flash news. A bit of flash news. Visa, Visa bought a fucking crypto punk, mate, for 150 grand. I'll drop the link to that in the description, go and have a read of it, it's fucking crazy. The future's nearly here, peeps, the future's nearly here. Visa buys NFT of digital avatar with Mohawk for $150,000. I'm just going to make one with a fucking cock on his head or something. To put it online for 200k because why the fuck not you know what I mean <laughs> anywho you know the dance invest in yourself invest in internet of value live long and order it all and never let it go never sell it stake it bake it get rewards off it just the way forward I'm not saying I'm never going to sell any of my crypto ever again it's just that the stuff I've staked will be my pension and the stuff that isn't staked will get sold at a certain price. So, got to think about your future and how you're going to fund it. How you're going to fund this life you want, yeah? What's rich to you? 1 million, 10 million, 100 million? How much does the life you want to live cost a year? 50k, 500k? That means you need between 500k to 5 million for 10 years. You gotta make you, you you gotta do these calculations so you actually know your affordability for the future life you want. Living how we live now on our twenty to fifty grand a year jobs, we can legitimately fucking we could most of us could hang our boots up in a couple of years, but for everyone who's chasing the millions and the feet up for the rest of your life shit, that isn't gonna come without some form of passive income because you will go through your pot like fucking that when it comes to it when you start getting giddy and you change your level of living and you and you think oh i did some calculations but i actually didn't know that fucker existed over there for 150 grand and i had no idea about that there there's only 200 grand fucking get me some of that shit <laughs> you change the way you live once you're wealthy or so just be careful have the vision now of how you want to live, what you want to buy, what hobbies, what companies, what what passions, and price it, today's current prices. Once your rewards are paying that, you've made it. So stake it, bake it, and leave it till you make it. Yeah. We love crypto. We love you. And we love everything in between, mate. PayPal, Visa, NFTs, the lot. Take care of yourself. And I will see you on the next one. Have a good week. Peace.